Ben şevet ya Resulü Kerim. İnşallah. Ya salat al maqibna. I can hear. 15-20 minutes. Okay, we have some questions. Assalamu alaikum Sayyidi Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah Is the bayat we read online ourself, is that considered bayat also? The bayat that you, re you re recite online? Yeah. Yes, hundred times. The Anyone listening has already given bayat. There's, there's no way that you could be listening and learning without an allegiance to the way. Now when you recite the bayat, that's your nafs saying, I'm accepting to follow him and follow them. So that's alhamdulillah a good sign that the nafs is, is willing to do that. So that, that already happening. So the higher is the one whom is a student of the way and they give their life, their khidmat, the, this is their path for life. So the real bayad is the one that you make with your heart and soul and your commitment to Allah to Prophet the tariqah and the shaykh that I'm committed to reach to these realities and to reach my ahad. And the one whom breaks his covenant it's to the detriment of his own soul. Now when the shaykhs go around giving bayat to everybody that's not the tariqah way. That the bayat is, is not to be given openly like that, that's because the shaykhs don't want to carry burdens. But the only reason they're doing the bayat in mass and in opening is because of the time of Sayyidina Mahdi and immense difficulties and they become the bayah of intercession. But the way is based on observation of the student, right? That the student would be ready, they would come, they would start to learn, they would start to study, they're dedicated, they're committed to it and at that time they come to the shaykh and say, I'm, I'm dedicated student, I want to give my life to that way. They're conscious of what… Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan, There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. They're about to ask and they give their bayat and their allegiance. At that time, there's a detriment to breaking it and the detriment is to your own soul. Why? Because it's like pulling your soul apart, you can't. That when your bond is so deep from your heart and from your soul to the shaykhs, it's not something you can take your hand off and go away. It's to the detriment of the heart and the soul will be in a tremendous difficulty. So. It has its different levels and degrees. You can search on Nur Muhammad the articles under bayat and allegiance and the pledge towards that reality inshaAllah. <coughs> As salaamu alaykum shaykh Wa alaykum as salaam wa uh, Please forgive my ignorance, can I purchase the taweez despite having bayah elsewhere? The taweez? 
yes, the Tawheed alhamdulillah is a protection and uh, immense blessings from the uh, from Prophet to awliya. So you can be under that protection inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Can we have multiple intentions when we read 40 Fatiha on water? Yeah, well you can have any intention you want <laughs> anytime you read Qur'an. But if your intention is for the healing and shifa to take away addiction then alhamdulillah and any other intention of healing and blessings and the dress of the Siri Surat al-Fatiha then alhamdulillah, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, what is the reality behind the Simpson cartoon predicting events like the submarine sinking or presidential elections? Is it their planning, predictions, or manifestations? <laughs> Realities, you want to talk about Simpsons? I don't know. <laughs> what Simpsons? Yeah. I would imagine anything that tries to show something that these are the, the jinn and the elite that they want to show they have a, an influence and a power. To them knowledge is power. So, alimun qadir, the reality and haqqaiq is knowledge is power because it's divine. So when the soul is emanating with immense energies its byproduct is knowledges, angelic lights are flowing through that soul. The dark side has a imitated funnier version. They think if they keep everybody ignorant then whatever ridiculous knowledges they have it renders them to be powerful. So you can see how they sort of play on the logic of the reality. So they keep the masses ignorant and they feel this is very powerful. Where the heavens is to take the knowledges and disseminate and teach people how to build their energies so that they can emanate divine knowledges. But dunya is what they call illuminati, is to be illuminated thinking they have knowledges and keep the masses to be ignorant. And every now and then they like to show that they know what's coming, they know this event, they know that event, that they deal with jinn, they deal with different things. This is their way of trying to show that they're illuminated and they have knowledges. But nothing more than a gypsy. So that's their system to impress and, and to impose upon people their authority and their knowledge. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, anything in day to day life that makes one sad and takes you down, is that Allah's grace on you? Is that what it means? Take you down and sad just could be depression. Or why would Allah's grace make you sad and take you down? So that, that Allah's rahmah, mercy is a mercy, that you feel the mercy and the rahmah of Allah Testing is testing. When you feel sad from your testing then you, you try to make your salawat, your zikr and everything else that you have to do. But some people are just generally very sad in the conditions and the life that they have. They, they have a lot of sadness and they want to equate that that Allah gave them that or that's not the, the way to think is that Allah only wants good for His servant. But the conditions in which they put themselves then can have lots of sadness. 
You have to then be patient through the sadness, do your zikrs, your salawat and your practices until you reach a point in which to be sabr jameel means that you find the beauty within the patience that you have. Means in everything to find a sense of peace instead of the struggling with the condition is to find a sense of peace within that condition. So that it's not a sadness but you become patient with the condition. So it's always best to think very positive about Allah Allah only wants the best, the lovingest, the best and we go through testings in life. Do lots of durood sharif lots of salawats and to uplift ourselves and protect ourselves from very negative, negative earth. Means the, the people now are very bad, very negative, very bad character and the overwhelming difficulty of people's character and our shield and protection is in durood sharif and salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaamu Alaikum uh, Sayyidi, why only Hazrat Ali was born in the Kaaba? What is the hikmah behind it? Please. <laughs> that you have to ask Allah <laughs> who he wants to be born inside his, <laughs> his Kaaba. I just don't know. But each of the holy companions they have immense realities. So these historical events a lot of external people may emphasize on these things and that's all they know. So they keep telling only that one story. But the vastness of Imam Ali Salaam's uloom and knowledges and qudra and realities is so immense that one broken side of the Kaaba doesn't represent him as the whole story. But that's all they know so they repeat that every year. But each of the holy companions were coming now upon the app doesn't show it but the, the shahadat of Sayyidina Uthman Arfan, uh, Sayyidina Uthman Jami al-Qur'an al-Majeed salam, the holy companion Sayyidina Uthman salam, and amazing reality of the compilation of the Holy Qur'an and all of its codings. So means each of the Holy Companions, the four great immense realities in their souls that far beyond any just physical event of a cracking of the Kaaba, they go way beyond these realities, their soul realities and their malakut reality. Best that you follow along with us and understand their immense realities to be dressed by them. I'm sure they want to be known more by the immensity of the realities than one particular event in the physical realm. And that's what distinguishes these teachings above others is the immense knowledges and realities and the, the how, how great they represent of these Divinely knowledges. Imam Ali Salaam and the side of the moon that nobody sees, the realities of the Zulfiqar, the reality is La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah means all these realities. So alhamdulillah and all the holy companions each Allah gave to them a reality, Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Uthman Ali. And that Allah dress us from their lights, bless us from their lights, inshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzatan min yasifoon wa salaamun ala mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan. Thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah, if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. 
also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.